hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel i usually post this kind of interesting video so today's topic is bench policy now why we should concerned about bench policy at middle of the year and uh, what what are the current observation or market trend uh, that i uh, came to know from a lot of my friends working in multiple organization so i'll talk about that i'll talk overall uh, idea of bench and how you can basically you know um, what we, we should do if you are in bench possibly we'll discuss all that in, including termination and everything so uh, the reason being basically a lot of uh, hiring happened and the bench is kindly full and if you are in a project coming to bench for you getting a project might be difficult at this point because the hiring like project specific hiring already happened in january february march and this is kind of a streamlined period not so uh, like you know hiring usually go not not like you know, people usually don't leave the organization people usually, or organization also don't hire that much or also like you know client is also doesn't have much requirement i mean though there are financial periods started but still it is kind of a streamline as of now and in december also there is very less chance of getting absorbed in a project so january february march usually people think this is the ideal period uh, to get a client or get a project so uh, let us talk about the policy first so in if you think like you know i mean let's not talk about product based company because anyway product based company doesn't have this concept about bench so if you hire if you are already in product based company you might know if you uh, like you know try to suppose you you i mean you were definitely will not work for a client you will be work for a pro product that to specific module right and if you need to switch then you, it's a module switch so for the same pro product then maybe from other module that you need to work so there is no such bench policy so let's not talk about product based company let's stick to the service based company and big four now in service based company including big four the average bench period is 60 days sometimes 90 days now bench period it can be varies it is not something which is fixed to the company and sometimes uh, like you know uh, companies change their policy so we cannot say that 60 percent is a rule 60 is a rule but average 60 days is a uh, something that usually given so some companies 45 days some companies 90 days and it is also a resource specific so senior resources sometimes 60 days given for junior resources sometimes 90 days given so this is the the very high level now if you talk about uh, the the like you know the indian mncs like tcs wipro infosys these three organizations basically bench policy was very good now wipro has some changes otherwise back to three four hours tcs wipro infosys has i mean they 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 didn't have uh, done anything by which they have to terminate their employees so there are a lot of employees basically spent more than a year in tcs bench so that is quite okay just you need to correct with rmg like resource uh, like you know that manager basically who actually have a lot of insight about their project right so but again that policy has certain change for wipro if you are spending more than 45 days uh, in a bench then possibly you won't get salary so you need to go go for lop basically leave without pay until otherwise you get a project but they don't terminate that is a good point and tcs info is still you can continue in the in a bench possibly you won't be eligible for the variable pay so that is a one drawback but there is no termination or something i mean those news news are not there so that is a good point for tcs uh wipro and infosys now coming to a lti um like you know lnt and mindtree and jensa and hexaware so here bench policy is pretty strict so it is 45 for lti and hexaware so for lti usually it is 45 days then the hr will pressurize you either to join a project or leave the organization and one fine morning like after 60 or 90 days you might get a mail from the hr saying like you know you need to uh, resign from your position because there is no open position in a pipeline like that, that kind of mail you may receive and uh, for so that is for lti and for gensar it is almost similar to ipro if you are spending more than 45 days in bench possibly you need to go for lop so that is kind of similar to ipro and hexa where they usually get slightly uh, higher like three four months they usually get after that they will ask them ask the employee to resign so uh, pretty much uh, like you know indian mnc's uh, culture i will say now when it comes to us mnc's it is slightly strict accenture uh, usually like you know what usually they do after one month they usually give, give one month of 
free period you can you can enjoy bench period one month. after that they usually like you know usually the bench manager they usually ask the employee to relocate or to like you know to reskill and join to a different pro like technology altogether so if you are if you are let's assume if you are java resource they can even ask to join selenium uh, testing automation testing so that kind of switch they expect technology switch so if you are not getting in say 45 days or 60 days they will definitely do something so they will pressurize to switch the uh, technology reskill and they can they may ask also uh, to relocate to some other location when where projects are available maybe bangalore hyderabad chennai gurgaon where exactly the projects is available projects are available so they might uh, ask you to join that join that location and if you are repeated repeatedly declining the interviews or if you are repeatedly failing the interviews that may lead to terminate for all of the companies basically so it's not about accenture but for all companies for ibm it is pretty much same 60 days now specifically i'll talk about cognizant because if you are like you know are someone who are from Accenture possibly know Accenture is infamous for PIP and Cognizant is infamous for bench policy. Now Cognizant has strict bench policy of 45 days. So if you sp spend 45 days, what will happen? The HR will connect and ask you to resign within 15 days. So they'll give a deadline of 15 days. So for PA level, still this can be negotiable for 90 days but for senior resource this is this is hard stuff of 45 days they'll give you for uh, 15 days more and then they will uh, ask you to leave so cognizant if you're in cognizant try to be in a project that is the best solution cognizant bench period policy is worst but having said that cognizant has a lot of project just you know do some networking so that you can get up get a project in cognizant now for big four now surprisingly they are also us companies majorly but big four bench policy is slightly better i believe so in ui deloitte pwc i have seen people are there long time in the bench so they usually don't fire directly don't ask the employee to leave they try to reskill uh and the one problem is if you are in bench for a long period of time possibly you will get zero hike like you know you will get four rating and you will, you will not get any variable pay you will not get any hike in this big four but still you will have your job so you can you can you can have little liberty to do some uh, r d and do some uh, thing like you know during your bench period so for big four like i have seen this policy is slightly better than usmncs Okay, now, uh, like, you know, the, the first question will be, like, you know, how to avoid such circumstances. So, the, prop, the, the, the thing is, you need to come to bench. Like, once this project is over, you on the, on the fine morning, you cannot join a next project, right? So, first of all, you need to be, like, you know, do some networking. You need to see what is around. And if you have the similar skill set present across in, inside your organization, try to connect with them. Try to see if they can absorb you. So, that is the best way. Try to connect with RMG if RMG, like you know, you have the RMG concept in your organization, or you, you are someone like you know who is taking care of the open position. Talk with them, try to understand their uh they are basically like you know roles and responsibility, and also prepare for the client interview. So client interview is very crucial. Try to take it seriously. I've seen a lot of people don't at all do not take this seriously because it's an internal client interview they thought but client thought it's a like in a full-fledged interview so people eventually failed and if somebody has already passed the interview try to connect with him try to see what question it like you know what question or what kind of roles and responsibility was expected from this role and try to clear the client interview in a very fast uh, like an attempt do not uh, leave the attempt because if you keep rejecting the positions then is some escalation will going going on and some escalation will happen and it will be eventually terminated now like you know suppose that you got terminated uh you did, do not have project for a longer period of time and you got terminated what will you do first of all like you know it's not a pip you understand they are not able to give you project so hence they are terminating your employment so ask for the severance pay as much as you can severance pay means it's like you know it should be at least if you have a three months notice period, they should at least pay for three months of salary upfront, if not six months. So some company will give five to six months of salary as a severance pay. So negotiate with the with the company. Uh, take as much as uh, severance package you can uh, get. Also ask them to continue your 
like you know uh, medical uh, health insurance policy basically because you have already paid for entire year so try to negotiate if they can extend it to till like you know till the validity because for you to get a job would be like you know may, may, maybe it will be it will take around one, one or two months right so by that time you should not be under uh, like outside of this health coverage so that is uh, some point i feel uh, i i should discuss because there is a lot of uh, people coming into bench and then all the freshers who joined recently are going through training and they will be also in bench so it is slightly difficult for people to get into a, a project for mid senior role uh, so that's what i have made this video and let us know in, in your comment below what is your thought thank you